After initializing the package and filling in the help, description, and namespace files, you're ready to build and install the package. To build the package means to make a tarball, or a tar.gz file, of the package that can easily be shared with others. Windows users will need to install the rtools resource before proceeding with these steps, and will also need to adjust the path variables on their computers, which I describe at the end of this video. When preparing to install or check an R package, I recommend copying and pasting the package to the desktop. This will make file navigation a little easier. Next, a command line program is needed. For Mac users, the terminal application may be used. To open a terminal, open a finder window, go to Applications, then to the Utilities folder, and then to the terminal application. After opening the program, you'll be greeted by a command line. PC users may use the Command Prompt application, which is found by clicking the Start button, going to All Programs, then to the Accessories folder, and then clicking on Command Prompt. Folder navigation inside of Terminal is very important. By default, Terminal will start in the Account Root directory. To see what folders are in this directory, type ls and hit Return. This shows the desktop folder, which is where I've made a copy of the package files. Windows machines may not recognize ls, but the dir command may be used in its place. To navigate to the desktop folder, we change directories to desktop by typing cd desktop. Next, I again type ls to make sure the package files are now visible, shown here by the package name listing. Now that I'm in the proper directory, I can run our commands to build or install the package. I'm going to start by building the package. To run an r package command, type r command, the command name, in this case I'll use build, and then the package name. When I run this command, it creates a tarball of the package. A tarball is just a special zipped file that contains all of the package's files. Here it's created my current working directory, which is my desktop. I can also install the package on this computer. To do so, I'm just going to run a different R command. Here I'll use R command install package name. This command will actually install the package using the files in the package folder. If I want to install the package using the tarball, I can write out the full file name for the tarball, including the tar.gz file extension. The package is installed successfully, so I'm going to open up an R session and load in the package. If I like, I can navigate to one of the help files. Here, the help file for EDA plot. Here, for instance, we can see some of the text that we had created earlier. Some of it italicized, some of it bold, and we also have some links. We can also navigate to other help files. In the next video, I'll show how to check the package in preparation for submitting the package to a repository like CRAN. And in the following video, I'll show how to add functions or data files to an existing package. But before going on, I want to touch on details for Windows users. There are a couple of steps that need to happen before building and installing the package using command prompt. The first is to install a resource called rtools. The second is to adjust the path variables on your computer. Here I'm going to briefly cover both of these steps. First, Google CRAN rtools. One of the first links that should appear is a CRAN page called rtools. Go to this page and download the resource corresponding to your version of R. After downloading, install the resource. During the installation, you'll be asked if the path variables on your computer should be updated. While we will look at and adjust the path variables next, it is easier to just check this box to simplify that next step. After you've installed the rtools resource, you're ready to move on to the next step. To access the path variables on your computer, go to the control panel, navigate to system and security, then to system, and then on the left you should find an option for advanced system settings, which should be opened. From here, click on the Advanced tab, then the Environment Variables button near the bottom. In the bottom set of options, scroll until you see Path in the Variables column. 
click this row and then click edit. In the next window, it may be easier to copy and paste the variable value, which is a very long line, into a text editor. In this long string of paths, look for two R Tools paths. If you don't see paths like these, add them manually. You should adjust the version number of the second path to correspond with the exact path on your computer, which you can find by browsing your computer's files. Next, look for a path to a bin folder inside of the files for your latest version of the R program files. If it isn't there, add the path and adjust the version number and also the x64 part as needed for your particular machine. When adding paths, be sure not to add any space after the semicolons. When done, copy and paste the path variables back to the system variable window. This completes the extra steps necessary for Windows computers.